These are your Harvard University Top 5 Plays of the Week. At number 5, Outdoor Track and Field. Harvard stepped to the line in the women's 100-meter final with five qualified runners and made history. Gozi Musa crossed the finish line first in 11.675 seconds and was closely followed by Olivia O'Coley. Then sisters Tita and Katina Martin crossed the finish line in 11.78 and 11.80 seconds. The last Crimson runner was Calissa Kane, who crossed in 11.86 to give Harvard the first ever men's or women's one through five sweep at an event in Ivy Hep's history. The five runners helped Harvard earn a staggering 30 points in the event. At number four, men's heavyweight crew. Helping capture Harvard's 27th Smith Cup from Northeastern, the Crimson's Varsity 8 dominated in its race against the Huskies, clocking in at 533.2 for the first place finish. The Crimson started fast out of the gates to build an early four seat lead, later finishing a full bolt length ahead of Northeastern to seal the victory. At number three, outdoor track and field. During the men's 400 meters, Joe Von Williamson ran a blistering 46.73 second time to win the event and set a new Harvard record. Williamson cruised to the title, winning by over a second. Williamson would go on to win two events at HEPs, including having a helping hand in the 4x400 meter relay team that won a HEPs title. At number two, baseball. In the eighth inning of a one-run game, senior Ben Skinner cleared the bases with a triple down the left field line, improving the Harvard lead to 6-2. The Crimson eventually beat Brown and earned the Ivy League title for the first time since 2005. At number one, softball. In the final contest against Cornell, senior Aaron Lockhart laced the ball up the middle to bring around first-year Mackenzie Tyler from second base and secure the 9-1 victory over Cornell. With the win, the Crimson became back-to-back -back Ivy League champions and won their first outright title since 2012. That's it for this week and this season for Harvard Top 5 Plays. We'll talk to you again in the fall of 2019.